Donald Trump is filing a new motion to recuse Judge Juan Mercan. This is out of the New York prosecution being brought by Alvin Bragg. And Donald Trump has tried to remove this case to federal court. We covered that motion. Alvin Bragg is trying to bring this case back down to New York court at the state level so they can keep possession of the prosecution. And we now have Trump saying the judge who is residing at the state level is not appropriate. Totally conflicted based on prior cases, based on his political donations that he has made to Democratic causes and Trump's opponents. And because of the activity of his family and his daughters and all sorts of other things that show it's unlikely that this judge can be fair and impartial. Now, to add some complexity to this, we don't even have the formal motion that was submitted because the judge and the courtroom are not releasing it. They're saying you have to go and review this stuff in person if you would like to see it. And so we have some background from the Epoch Times. They say that Trump's lawyers seek a recusal of the judge in the New York case. And this photo was from New York when Donald Trump had to turn himself in for the arraignment at the outset of the case. But they say that Trump issued a statement, which we will read through in full. They're referring to the document that is going to try to replace Judge Juan Mercan. We'll read through the statement, but I was curious as to why we don't have the official filing. And the Epoch Times dug into this. They said that they called the court. I want to read this thing. I mean, if they're saying this judge is biased and not legitimate, can't not be impartial. I would like to see the motion, but Trump has some gag orders. I mean, they're not officially gag orders, but he's got some discovery limitations and all of this stuff is taking place under the dark of night in seal. Why can't we see it? Epoch time calls and they speak to court spokesman named Lucian Chalfin, working for the court, told the Epoch times in an email that criminal filings in Manhattan may only be viewed in person and not online. And as this is a pending matter before Judge Mercan, it would be inappropriate to comment further. Nobody can get the document. Now, Epoch Times is attempting to obtain the motion, which the Trump campaign says will outline the judge's conduct in a previous case. Trump spokesman said he pushed the former Trump Organization CFO, Alan Weisselberg, to cooperate against Trump and against the president. Mercan made also political contributions and other donations. And they've also been involved in the Michael Cohen case and others. And so this is talking about the removal into federal court. But Donald Trump released the statement on his website, even though we have not been able to see the motion yet. Here is what Trump and his people put out. They said the following, that President Trump, like all Americans, is entitled under the Constitution to an impartial judge and a fair legal process. This motion lays out Judge Mercan's significant conflicts. The judge's daughter stands to significantly financially benefit from a decision her father may make because of her direct efforts with Joe Biden's campaign. And we remember that I think she did some work for Kamala. The motion also chronicles Judge Mercan's conduct in a previous case when he pushed former Trump Organization CFO Alan Weisselberg to cooperate against Trump and the corporation and Trump personally. Judge Mercan also apparently made political contributions to Joe Biden and other causes to, quote, stop Republicans. They say this case has no factual or legal merit, having been brought by a district attorney who ran on a platform of get Trump. An impartial judge is vital to stop this travesty of justice. And so we were expecting this. We were waiting for this and a whole slew of other filings in this case. But there are things that have to happen first. And if the case is going to be removed to federal court, then we're going to be filing the substantive motions in federal court. And so we're looking for a certain motions to dismiss, motions to challenge the probable cause or even the grand jury. There's, there's all sorts of things that we could be seeing, but we're not right now because we're getting through the preliminary stuff and a motion to recuse is something you file immediately because you don't want the judge to be ruling on other more substantive motions. You got to get the judge out first before you then file your more substantive motions. And as we've already talked about, this judge has made donations to political causes that directly oppose Trump and he knows it. Now, the New York Times has a little bit more for us. They say that lawyers for Trump are trying to remove this man. You see the photograph of him here. And part of the issue with this is that this judge is going to be the person who rules on it. Trump has already sought to move the case to federal court, but but now he wants this judge recused. Trump has denied all of these accusations and Trump's lawyers, Susan Nicholas and Todd Blanche, they said in a statement that Trump, like all Americans, is entitled under the constitution to an impartial judge and legal process, but their motion faces an uphill climb. The decision rests in the hands of the judge who also presided over the unrelated tax fraud trial last year of Trump's company. The company sought Judge Mercan to recuse himself in that case, 
but he declined to step aside. So in other words, this judge is probably not going to go anywhere. The company was convicted and Judge Mercan ordered a $1.6 million fine. They cited his actions in that case. They say, Judge, you've already been biased and prejudiced against us. You encouraged Trump's former CFO to cooperate against the president. You said that on the record. Now, we still have not seen the motion because even the New York Times can't get it. Justice Mercan's daughter, they noted, is a partner and chief operating officer of Authentic Campaigns, which works for the Democrats. And Authentic Campaigns worked for Biden. And so they stand to benefit from this. If Trump is prosecuted and Trump is running against Kamala and Joe, then his indictment, his prosecution, his conviction is going to be well worth it for them. Under New York state rules on judicial conduct, a judge should disqualify himself or herself in a case if a relative within a six degree had an interest that would be substantially affected by the proceeding. Daughters close. Miss Mercan's work on Democratic campaigns does not give her enough of an interest to qualify, according to experts. Of course not. Yeah, because this isn't a political thing, right? So the fact that the judge's daughter works for the Democrats or had worked for the Democrats has nothing to do with this case. I'm wondering if she's working for them now. Maybe we should know that. She working with any Democrats who would have an opposition to Trump being reelected? Because that seems like it would qualify to me. What if this were the other way around? What if some judge in which Hunter or Joe were being prosecuted, what if that judge's daughter from Texas had worked for Trump's campaign and a Texas prosecutor was prosecuting Hunter or Joe specifically, which may happen at some point soon. We'll see. But in their statement, Mr. Trump's lawyers also seized on modest personal documents that he made. Judge Juan Mercan donated 15 bucks to Act Blue in Democrats, earmarked for Joe Biden Jr. The judge is making donos. It doesn't matter that it's $15. That says, that says more than anything. This is just a spike don't know. He's not actually going to be changing anything with that. If you really want to cause a massive change, right, you donate thousands of dollars to really do something. This is just spite. He's reading through some story and he just, I'm just going to go give him $10 so that I can make a mark as a small donor. He also gave $10 to each of the two other Democratic groups, one called Stop Republicans. And what's so funny about this is now his courtroom is in a very nice position to, in fact, stop Republicans by throwing a case against the former president. Somebody against whom he's already made financial contributions. Judge Mercan has been under the protection of armed court officers since a grand jury voted to indict Trump on the 30th. The lawyers plan to file the motion for recusal later this week, and they're going to talk about redactions before they release it. A spokeswoman for Bragg's office said prosecutors would review the motion and respond in papers. Mercan declined to comment through a spokesman, but they call the attack on Mercan's objectivity vintage Trump. Give me a break. As I said, what happens if this whole thing is reversed? The judge literally donated to, to stop him. So challenging his objectivity is in evidence. What if this judge made donations to Trump? How about that? What if Judge Juan Mercan made two donos over to Trump, over to MAGA? How about that? You think they would say that this means the judge would be impartial? No, not at all. They'd be screaming like they scream. Trump has argued that Bragg brought the case as part of a politically motivated witch hunt. They deny that, even though they ran for office on his prosecution. So we'll see what the ultimate motion looks looks like. And we're going to continue to follow to see what the judge does. Will he recuse himself? Probably not. He'll say that, no, I can be totally fair and impartial. That was a prior election. And by the way, this case doesn't involve elections. It involves the falsification of business records from a prior election. He hasn't recused himself yet. I doubt he's going to. Probably thrilled he has this case along with his daughter. Gives him a nice opportunity to do something that they think is saving America as the prosecution of Trump continues.